We picked the best cars from the Beijing show. Could Chevy's new model wear the SS nameplate? Bugatti releases yet another special edition Veyron, and we take a spin in the Lamborghini convertible. You don't want to miss that. I'm Greg, this is Auto Week TV for Thursday. Let's make it happen. Okay, I'm back after a whirlwind visit to Beijing for the auto show. There's nothing I can think of that prepares you for this event. But here's a rundown of our Editor's Choice Awards for the show. Now, most fun is the Porsche Cayenne GTS. Our best concept winner, bit of a surprise here, is the MG Icon. Our most significant winner is the Mercedes-Benz Concept Style Coupe. It's a beautiful car. And, drumroll please, best in show went to the Lamborghini Urus SUV concept. Get more details and photos of these cars at AutoWeek.com. Now, Chevy is dropping the Impala name from its NASCAR entry next year. It said the Impala would be replaced by a car with a new name and that it's going to closely resemble a production car. Now, there's two clues that point to the SS as being the name of that car. First, GM has moved to trademark the SS name. Second, for a short time earlier this week, the OnStar website showed a list of the 2014 Chevys, including this one, the SS Performance. Now, General Motors and Chevy are not commenting, but this could be the civilian version of the rear-wheel drive Chevy cop car that's based on the former Pontiac G8. Bugatti used the Beijing show to roll out the one-off, way-long 2012 version of the Veyron. It's built as a salute to the Year of the Dragon. Pricing is set at $2 million. The way-long 2012 Veyron has porcelain dragons on the fuel filler cap and inside the cabin. Now, the headrests and the silk floor mats have a Chinese dragon character. That's the news for today. We'll wrap up the week tomorrow with a totally new show heading into the weekend. But don't go anywhere until you watch our senior West Coast editor, Mark Vaughn, give it the full Italian with the Lamborghini Gallardo convertible. He enjoys the drive, and as always, you should too. I am just an average run-of-the-mill guy from Southern California. There's nothing extraordinary about me. I drive a Honda Civic. I'm not that interesting. But I, as I suspect you, would secretly like to be a suave Italian gentleman. How, how can I do this, you ask? I'll tell you. A couple easy steps. First of all, put on the suave Italian sunglasses. Then you take the jacket off because you do not put your arms through the jacket. No, it's over your shoulders like this. Then you take out, of course, the American cigarette, but you don't hold it like this. No, that is wrong. You hold it perhaps like this, and you gesture, and you gesture. Ah, ah, ciao, Giuseppe, how are you doing? And then is one more thing. One more thing you need to have, Lamborghini Gallardo. Lamborghini calls this a purist's car, a rear-drive convertible version of the Gallardo. The 550 in the name is the output of the normally aspirated V10 in horsepower, but the 2 means that all of that power goes to the two rear wheels instead of to all four wheels. If the Ferrari 458 is the ultimate open-topped sports car, the 552 is, like all Lamborghinis from time immemorial, a beautifully sculpted mounting point for a very powerful engine. That's not to dismiss it, it's just that the Ferrari is better at steering around corners with more feedback, a better weight to the steering wheel, and a slightly quicker turn-in. The Lamborghini is still very good at all that stuff, just not quite as good as its competitor. Hammer the throttle from a standstill, or from just about any point on the speedometer, and you unleash a torrent of power and torque. Lamborghini lists curb weight at 3,351 pounds, Combined with 543 horsepower, that's good for a 0 to 62 time of 4.2 seconds. Top speed is 198 miles per hour. We had nowhere in the LA basin where we could verify that figure. We did take it on a couple corners and noticed a few character traits. Whether the suspension is set in Sport or Corsa, the front end has a tendency to bob a little like an old 993 Porsche. The bigger bumps getting through to the driver, who may not want all of them but it creaked and squeaked like crazy. If you lean toward the muscle car end of the convertible supercar segment, this is your ride. If you need a fixed roof over your head, there are many other choices from McLaren, Toyota, Nissan. Of course, separating want from have is a huge gulf. 
in this case about $214,595, including destination and gas guzzler tax. The hardtop version starts at under two hundred k if that's any consolation. Catch all the latest auto enthusiast news at AutoWeek.com, in AutoWeek magazine and iPad edition. Talk with us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at AutoWeek USA.